I first uh, expressed on behalf of uh, the entire World Bank group our deep condolences for the losses uh, that the Liberian people have suffered. Uh, I also express my enormous admiration for the Liberian government, uh, and especially for President Johnson Sirleaf's leadership in battling this uh, terrible epidemic. I, I also encouraged President Johnson Sirleaf to continue working uh, with her neighbors. Um, we know that, that uh, this epidemic will not be over until everywhere uh, and, and everyone in every country gets to zero. In our meeting, we discussed uh, many different issues, but uh, we focused especially on the importance of finishing the job on Ebola and at the same time, beginning today, yesterday, working on economic recovery. We've, we've uh, committed to helping the Liberian authorities in the coming uh, 18 months in the following five major areas. There are others as well, but these uh, uh, were areas that we specifically focused on. We've already provided $200 million uh, to Liberia for the Ebola crisis, and we'll continue to support the ambitious plan to get to zero cases as soon as possible. Uh, this involves making sure that every community is protected from Ebola and that all Liberians have access to the health care that they deserve. But we don't need to wait till we get to zero to start working on economic recovery. So our second uh, area of support will be in the area of agriculture. Agriculture is a key pillar of the Liberian economy, and we're concerned that agricultural production has dropped as a result of the Ebola epidemic. We will help Liberian farmers recover from this crisis. We must make sure that the Ebola epidemic is not followed by a food security crisis. Third, we will help improve selected infrastructure projects that are critical for economic competitiveness, such as urban infrastructure, access to electricity, and the construction of roads and bridges that connect farmers to markets. We need to help Liberians create jobs to help people recover from the income losses as a result of the economic slowdown caused by the epidemic. The epidemic has stalled some of our existing infrastructure projects. We're working to bring the private sector back. Today in Accra, we're organizing a roundtable uh, on this issue with private companies working in Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Guinea to find out what we need to do to help bring them back. Fourth, uh, we'll continue to work through IFC, our private sector arm, to provide liquidity to local banks to support small and medium-sized enterprises and local entrepreneurs and farmers. Today, uh, the CEO of uh, IFC, Jin Yong Sai, is with us, and he will sign a $7.5 million loan to EcoBank. Fifth, and finally, we'll help the government manage the consequences of the epidemic on the public accounts. We're working closely with the International Monetary Fund and the African Development Bank, and we're preparing several tranches of budget support in order to support uh, the government. Once again, it's uh, for me a great honor uh, to be here. Uh, on the one hand, I share the great sadness of the Liberian people for the losses that have been suffered. But I come here uh, and I am uh, more optimistic um, uh, actually being able to meet with Pre President Johnson Sirleaf. And I just want to send the message that we are with uh, the President, we are with her government, and we are with the Liberian people until we get to zero. This is not an epidemic that you can leave a few cases around. We have to get to zero. I have personally worked on community health uh, uh, projects all my life, and I know it's possible. It's very difficult, but it's possible. If we can find a way uh, to create opportunities while we get to zero, we'd be even more encouraged. Thank you very much.